Investigators say convicted murderer Ramon Alston had help in making his escape nearly 36 hours ago. He got away while arriving at a medical appointment in Orange County after the roughly three hour ride from the prison in Bertie County. Orange County is his home county. Tonight we're asking why officials would have brought him somewhere where he had so many connections. WRL investigates Sarah Kruger is live at the UNC Medical Facility in Hillsborough asking those questions of officials. Sarah. Gerald, you have to think that Alston still likely has a lot of family and friends here. He knows this area very well, and that may have made it easier for him. It was here at UNC Hospitals in Hillsborough where he was able to get away, and he remains on the run tonight. More than 150 miles. That's how far Ramon Alston was taken from Bertie Correctional Institution to this hospital in Hillsboro. According to a spokesperson for the Department of Adult Corrections, the prisons contract with UNC for specialty health care services. I asked the DAC why Alston was taken to a county where he has so many connections. A spokesperson telling me by email, Alston was returning to Hillsboro for follow-up care after being being seen there previously. It's coincidental that Alston is from Orange County. I followed up asking if moving forward they would make efforts to ensure prisoners are not brought to where they're from. The response, housing state inmates close to or in their home counties is very common as it facilitates visitation with family members, which is generally a positive rehabilitative influence. I remember this case Vividly. Orange County District Attorney Jeff Neiman tried the case in 2018, calling it one of the most impactful of his career. The victim, one-year-old Malia Williams, was playing with her mother on Christmas Day when she was shot. Someone who was willing to do something as dangerous as what Mr. Alston did, there's, it's obviously we're concerned about what he is capable of doing. He warns there are more charges waiting, not just for Alston once he's found, but anyone who helps him. There is a $35,000 reward for those who assist in this man's capture. There are felony charges for those who assist in his escape. Body cameras and dash cameras, those might have helped answer how that inmate was able to get away from here. So I asked the Department of Adult Corrections if corrections officers have those. I was told they do not. He also told me, that spokesperson, that there will be an after-action review of the incident that happened here. And body cameras may be part of that discussion. Sarah Kruger, WRL News, live in Hillsborough.